Oh, oh, oh. Bonjour, my name is Henri Paca and I hope you are happy. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build the lovely cozy house that is right behind me. Let me show you that. That's a cozy house, simple. It has a tower, an upper level here that makes the roof really interesting. Speaking of the roof, we have pumpkin in it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. We have a pergola with a lot of leaves all around it. And overall, I really like the color of that build. It's really orange and caramel-like. It's really... it fits the season, right? It fits the season. So, yeah. Let me let me show you how, how to build that beauty, right? Let's go. Oh, wait a second. Before we do that, let's have a look at the material list. Uh, there are a lot of different materials here. So I'm just gonna scroll through the list and do not hesitate to pause the video and take screenshots so you are sure you have the right material list. And be careful, some of the materials uh, might, like the numbers here, might not be exactly the same for you depending on how you texturize the, the house, like the roof, the, the, the walls, that kind of stuff. Uh, you might need one or less blocks than I used. Okay, let's go. So let's scroll down. That's the second part of the build. There we go. I'm doing long pause so you have the time to get everything. <laughs> there we go. Ah, infested stone. That's a, that's a mistake. I'm supposed to use a normal stone here, not infested ones. That's weird. And there we go, that's the, the end of the list. Let's go and build it. Alright guys, I've laid out all the materials I'm gonna need here in Creative to build this. I've gave you the list of the materials. So it is time to build a house, right? First thing we're gonna do is lay out the build on the ground. So the house and its tower. Here we're gonna start by placing the layout of the house. It's a simple rectangle, okay? So take your strip hook logs and just start by placing one, easy, okay? Then on the side count four blocks and on the fourth one place another block like this and you do this two other times so one two three four here and one two three four that's the full length of the house on the other side here you're gonna count six block one two three four five six and yeah remember every time during the video you can pause it and count the block thanks to the iron blocks on the ground right so easy we have five blocks in between those two and you do the same thing uh, we did here so you complete the layout like this and you should have that right simple as that if the entrance and the pergola of the house is on that side here somewhere here take your dark oak logs and place them kind of around that pillar so here you're gonna count two and one and on that block place it like that and do something like this. So you're gonna make a circle around that block, like so. Okay, again you can easily count the blocks, that's pretty simple, right? Now take with you some oak planks and complete the ground here, it's so like fill in all the gaps here like that. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I come back to you to show you the next part of the build. There, we should have something that looks like this. So we still have the blocks here, the stripped oak everywhere and the dark oak, but we have planks instead of the iron, right? Now take your dark oak logs and here on top of all of those logs, make columns of six block high. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The block on the ground is not included on the six, right? So if you count that block, it make it seven. But above the ground, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Do it again for all the blocks. 
All right, now that we, you have all your pillars, uh, fill in the gaps, fill in the holes in between with spruce planks, like so. And then on top of that, take some stripped dark oak woods and you're gonna place them on the top of all those blocks. Here, the trick is you will have to place one first, then place the two other ones like that so they are horizontal. Remove the first one and replace it like that. So repeat that four times. There, in the fourth corner of that square, place temporary blocks. I use dirt, that's easy to break, easy to find. And take your strip dark oak wood and make columns of six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So here, I've used wood because I presume that you made a lot for those blocks but you can use normal logs, right? Strip logs work as well because we won't see that end or the other end of the columns. And then in between, take again your spruce planks and fill in the gaps. That is the basic wooden structure of the tower. Now it is time to build a bit more stuff around the house. So again, take your strip oak logs and make columns of four blocks so one two three four blocks like that above the blocks you already placed yeah okay should have something like this now connect the columns together by the top like so all right the columns should also be connected to the tower here like that I'm gonna ask you now to take with you some granite and some smooth sandstone, all right? Take the granite and make one layer here around the house in between the columns. And when you've done that, fill in the holes, the gaps with smooth sandstones. So far, you should have something that look like this, right? <laughs> if not, well, you've misunderstood something. Now we're gonna work on the roof of that house. Take your strip oak log and place on each side here and over there one, two, three blocks like this. And you, we're gonna make stairs with the smooth sandstone, just like so, one, two, three, so one and two here, like this on the other side. This will help us to build the roof, right? The roof is composed of four different blocks. We have orange terracotta, cut red sandstone, pumpkins, I know, right? And yellow terracotta. Just take the orange terracotta and start placing it on the roof. So here on the wall, like that. Then another line here here until you hit the tower like that and you do the same for all of those well little levels and it should be like this here you can see that it's colliding with the tower just like so so do not hesitate to pause the video and check with your build if everything's right now take with you some spruce stairs and some spruce slabs all right and we're gonna do the trim around the roof. Let's start here. So not on that level, but on the level of the birch, not the birch, the oak, place some stairs like this all around here. And when you arrive at the end, place another one, another one here, another one there. Keep going. And here, that one, you're gonna place it against the wall. So it make a transition for that side. See, it's kind of like the block has rotated. Well, you don't care, just place it like that. <laughs> Complete the turn and do the same over there. And on that side, it should end up here. No more blocks than that. But it's not finished, okay? Here under that stair, the middle one, uh, place an upside down stairs like this against the wall and here, Place yourself against the tower and place an upside down stair here and another one here. And for the last slot here, place a slab like so. Do the same on the other side of the build. 
that side should look like this. Slabs, stairs, 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 slabs. It is time to add some texture to the walls. So take with you first some cut sandstones and replace some blocks here and there with that. Whoop, not that one, that's okay. So yeah, just like this, a few blocks to add different textures. And after that, use some sand and do the same here and there again. Randomize your thing, like don't think too much about it. And do kind of the same stuff with the wall, like the base here. So take some bricks and replace some of the, the granite blocks with bricks. Do that all around the house. The walls are looking better. Let's go up on the roof and place the secondary roof. So you're above the roof like that, maybe like this. Here, from that corner, count one, two, and then one above and remove that block here, like that. And count one, two, three, and on the fourth one, also remove. And you know what? Remove those blocks as well. And those ones, like that. And here you do the same on that side. So you should end up with a square of five by five blocks. Let me count that. One, two, three, four, five. And here, one, two, three, four, five. There we go, that's perfect. Take with you temporary blocks and place them on the corner of the square, just like so. This will help you. Take your stripped oak logs and place two blocks on top of the temporary blocks, like that. And then connect them together, just like so. All right. Now take with you the smooth sandstone and place it here inside the hole. So that's a two by three wall like that, but also on the top here, this will help us to build the roof, just like that. Take back your orange terracotta and well, start building the roof, right? Just like we did for the main one, but it's a smaller one. You should have something that look like this. Take your stairs and slabs, the spruce ones, and we're gonna make the same trim here on that roof. So, you know, at the end, you place them like that. And here, you will be here at that level, something like that, okay? Complete the roof. Let's turn around the build, the roof, so you, you can check if you've done everything right. Don't forget the upside down stairs and the slabs. Yeah, and again, for the third time, you can pause the video to count the blocks, make sure you have everything right. Should we texturize the roof now? I think we should. Take all your blocks for the gradient of the roof. And remember, lighter color will be for the top of the house. Darker color will be for the top of the roof, okay? So here we have the darker color everywhere. Maybe one ID could be to get from the darker to the lighter and place them like this. Or you could even start with the lighter color, like the lighter one, and replace some of those blocks here like that to make the top of the roof uh, lighter. Maybe not this one, that's weird, but it's just like that. You place, uh, place some of them like so. So it's tricky, it's really, it's never easy to make a gradient for a roof, but you have to try, you have to practice. <laughs> when you've placed the lighter blocks, here take your pumpkins, that's the second lighter blocks of the gradient, and replace some of the blocks here and there with it. Uh, the trick here with the pumpkin is that there are a lot of texture on it and it's really recognizable, so you don't want to use it as much as the other blocks that are pretty bland, right? So place just some here and there, like so, to help the gradient, to help the transition. I think probably like that is enough. Maybe I'm gonna add another one here, hidden. Then take the, the last block you've never used and uh, smooth that transition between that and this. So probably you will have some blocks here that will be like that. One over here and two over there. I don't know, it's a bit random and a bit not. You have to test, place them, correct the gradient, add more here and there. 
And I mean, that's your build, right? <laughs> Do what you think looks the better. Here it's weird, I have a symmetry, so I'm gonna break it just a little. Maybe I'm gonna move that pumpkin here and place that block here, so we have something less symmetrical. And you try, the idea is to have the lighter colors on top, the darker ones on the bottom. When you're satisfied with your change, it is time to add a chimney. For that, we will use variant of bricks and go on the opposite side of the door. So the door will be somewhere here. You go on the opposite side and here on the top of the secondary roof, you're not gonna replace that block for the moment, but this one here and place some bricks like that. It should be one block higher than the roof. On top of that, place your campfire and hide it with some spruce trapdoors, just like so. So you don't see the campfire, but you still get the smoke out of it. Around that chimney, place one block here at the cross of the two uh, roofs and blocks like that here. Replace those stairs with another block here, okay? Now take brick walls and place them here and there, just like that. Now use polished granite slabs and place them here and there. You've almost have your whole chimney. Now we're gonna texture it just a bit more. So probably it is a good idea to replace that block with a granite wall and to change some blocks here and there for uh, polished and uh, granite, sorry, not andesite, polished granite, and maybe one block here and there for uh, normal granite. Maybe not that one, that was good to have bricks at the top, but maybe this one, pol not polished, just like so. As always, you have to try and get what you think looks right. And we have the chimney. Oh no, wait, we don't have the chimney, I forgot. Replace that block as well, just like so. So we have a continuity. It is time to work a bit more on the tower here. Uh, we've left it pretty blank for the moment, so we need to continue it. Take with you some bricks, some brick walls, some brick slabs, but also some dark oak fence. Then place yourself in front of one of the sides, so maybe that side or this one, doesn't matter. We will do the fourth one. And take your bricks, your block, place two by three blocks like that, and then in the middle, two blocks, okay? On each side, place stone brick walls on top of that dark oak fence, and then on top of the fences, some slabs, just like so. Take your normal stone and your chisel stone bricks and texturize this a bit, maybe like that, here and there, and you want to replace some of that stone bricks for normal stone, like so, probably. When you're happy with your design, uh, repeat it on the fourth side of the build. Of course, you won't have a complete design here on that side and on the other side over here. That's normal, you have the house in the way, in your way. Now it is time to complete also in between those designs. So in the corner here, place three blocks and do kind of the same here with the walls and the fences and the slab, something like that. Of course, don't forget to texturize the thing and do that on each corner. So far, your tower should look like that. All right, let's go one level higher. Here, in the middle of that layer, place a grass block or maybe some podzol or some coarse dirt. That depends on what you like. On top of it, use a fern or some grass, maybe another plant you choose. On each side of that, place some walls, just like so. This time it's gonna be spruce fences on top of that and spruce slabs, just like that. Here, use an acacia trap door to close the thing. Do that on each side of the build, of course. Bam! You can also use jungle trapdoors to create some variation. Oh, I almost forgot. Break the block behind your grass thing and replace it by an oak fence. Just like so. That will create windows 
And also, I've made a mistake here. I told you to create a column of six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. But it's supposed to be five blocks. So remove the last layer, the top one. All right, now take some spruce stairs and place them here in the middle of the tower. Below that, spruce fences and below that again, a lantern like that on each corner, of course. Also on each corner, on the right and on the left of the stairs, place some fence gates, spruce ones, and open them like this. So of course, each corner, each side. I guess it is time to build a roof now. So for that, take some dark oak slabs, planks, stairs, fences, at least one, and one iron bar. Maybe follow more what I do than what I say, because I may like the words <laughs> to explain how to build this. So let's go. On the top, place your planks like this, a three by three square. Take some stairs and place them above the stairs that were already there. You know, the stairs we use, the spruce stairs. Take some slabs and place them on the left and on the right of those stairs, like so. Bottom slabs. Now, tricky part. You will have to place slabs here on the corners, just like that. You may need to uh, crouch to be able to place them because you will need to place them against the fences and you don't want to open and close them all the time. You should have something that look like this. Take again your planks and make a cross on the top of the tower and in the middle of that cross place two blocks one on the top of the other take some slabs and in the corner of the cross place them like so take your stairs and place them on the blocks of the cross like that take the fence take the iron bar and boom you have a roof complete it nice it is time to add some important detail to that house. You know, maybe a door here and some windows. So you're on that side of the house and here in the middle of the house, break those two blocks. Well, if you had sand, it will fall, break it. Go inside the house and place your door like that. So you have, you can see the block below when you're from the exterior. Then place an upside down stair here. Like that. For the window, it's gonna be easy. So you remember, we have those columns for every middle block in between those columns. So here we have three blocks. So the middle one is that one. Well, break it, place a glass pane, a white one, place some spruce fence against it, open them, and on top of that, a spruce trapdoor. Do that on every side. So here it's gonna be the same. Yeah, we have a sand block. We're gonna replace it. All right, there we go. You should have those windows all around the house. I even placed one against the tower here, like that. And let's not forget to add windows also here at the bottom part of the house. We're gonna add the same ones here and the other side as well another window just like that. While you're doing that, you could also take your fences, the spruce ones, the fence gates, and place them against the pillars here and open them like this. That will kind of create a support for the roof here. If you find it weird that this one is not touching the roof, well, you can remove it. I mean, the house doesn't need it. Do that everywhere you have pillars. And on the top level, take some spruce fence and place them here, you know, below the end of the roof. Take with you the grass blocks, podzol and coarse dirt and all the plants you've chosen. We're gonna place greeneries below the windows. Also, don't forget to take jungle trapdoors and uh, acacia trapdoors. So take your blocks and place them randomly here and there, uh, you know, to create some flower pots like that. Surround them with the trapdoors. You can alternate to create some variation and some interest. 
like so, and where you can place uh, some greeneries, some plants. Do that for all the windows. Every time three blocks like that, don't forget to surround it and of course to place the greeneries you want. I want to add greeneries to the top windows as well. Remove the three blocks below the window and replace them with your, well, your grass blocks, pods all, whatever. And same as we did before, uh, use your trapdoors. Don't forget the greeneries. That's beautiful. Maybe I'm removing that one. I don't know. Yeah, that's cool. Do that on the other side as well. This is already more welcoming, isn't it? See? Just like so. And here at the back, to create some variation, some interest, I've not made all of them three block wide. Uh, this one is just two blocks and that one, one. Before we build the pergola, I think it is time to add some details, more details to that house. Here, above the top windows, take your oak fence gate and place it here so it's against perpendicular to the wall then against it place a fence like that on top of that fence place an oak trap door and below that fence place a flower pot it will look like it's floating right now but if you place a fern in it it look like it's connected to the, to the thing so it's a hanging flower pot Okay, do the same thing on the other side over there. We will also do something similar here, but with a lantern. Place a slab here, an oak one, and against it a trapdoor. Below them a fence gate, just like so, and a fence, normal one. Then place your lantern below it. Also, I've done this here. If you want, you can replace the fern with a birch sapling or a jungle sapling. That will work. Some other blocks will work, like this one, maybe. You have to try. You have to try with the different plants you have in the game. Yay! Time to build the pergola, my cactuses. Take with you some grass blocks. And starting from that point, so we have one, two, one, two block of stone here. Here, you place three blocks like that, and then two in that direction, right? You can texturize this by placing some puzzle and some coarse dirt, of course, like so. Good. And you surround them with trapdoors, all right? The jungles and the acacia ones. In the corner here, you won't be able to place two trapdoors here, so maybe just place one there, like that. So that's the one you, you should usually see. That one is okay. <laughs> that works. And this should already help you with the layout of the pergola. So that's the end of the pergola here, like that. And it goes until that block here. So not the column here, but the blocks next to it, like that. So you fill all that space with oak planks. And you should get something like that. Now you can add a few blocks here on the side, like so, to randomize the, the shape of this. So maybe here like that, something like this. It's gonna help blending your pergola, the ground, with the rest of your ground here. So maybe you will have a grass, so that will help. Because now we will texture this. So take some stripped oak wood, some beehives, and some oak stairs, and replace some of those blocks with that. And remember, wood and beehives are directional, so you can place them in that direction or in that direction. Look at this. This one is like that, but that one is like this. Okay, texturize everything. Yay, that's better. Now take with you some spruce and oak fences. We're gonna place the, the pillar, the columns of the pergola. So here, on the corner of the, the original ground we've made here, place one spruce and two oak fences like that. And here, place on the corner here, one spruce and one oak. Just like that. Once you've done that, uh, well, build the pergola itself. So use spruce slabs and place them on top 
of the build like this. Uh, this should look like so for the moment. <laughs> for the moment. Wait a second, that will be better. This is like this, okay? So now take some campfires and replace at least, I'll say, half of the blocks with campfires. So like so. And remember, campfires are directional as well. So you might want to turn while you place them so they are in different directions like so to alternate the, the build and create more details. You will also need a shovel to extinguish all the fires. <laughs> we don't want fires here on the top. Okay, let me place all of that. Right, you might end up with something that looks kind of like this. It is then time to add the final details. Just take a few greeneries, that will be for the flower pot here, the big one and take also some leaves with you. I like to use jungle leaves and flowering azalea leaves and we're gonna place them on the building. So first, the greeneries here and there, like that. Yeah, cool. And then you take your leaf uh, without the flowers and you randomly place them here. Well, not really randomly, but you place them here so they grow onto the house here. And here it's gonna be weird because we have slabs and campfires. So one thing I like to do is to break the campfires or the slabs and place the leaf instead. So that will make the, the pergola even more like you can see through. So, so it will let a lot of sun go through and that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. So do that like this for a few blocks, uh, maybe some of those ones as well, but not too much because this might look weird and you go all over the house here around the tower a bit on the roof until you arrive here at the other side okay that's a bit weird you know you try as always when you're happy with the shape of the leaves you've put on the floor you can go here and there and replace some of them with the flowering ones so it adds a little bit of details and variation to that build. If you don't like the, the flower ones, uh, you can use just another type of leaf just to, to create some variations. So maybe you've used some jungle leaves, then you can use birch leaves, for example. And boom, just like that, you're done. The house is complete. Congratulations, guys. <laughs> you've made it. Yay, congratulations again. Let's have another look at that house finished. So we have the tower and all the flowers around it. And then we have the roof, the orange roof with the pumpkins, the chimney and all the flower pots everywhere. A lot of windows and those colors that really match the season. It's up done, guys. It's up done. <laughs> I hope that tutorial was clear enough for you guys. Let me know what you think of the house in the comments and of the tutorial as well. If you build this house in your own world, uh, do not hesitate to send the pictures uh, to my Discord. A uh, link will be in the comments. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, remember to hit the like button. If you are new, please consider subscribing. And until the next video where I hope to see you, I tell you au revoir.